this is the bar locking plate so let's uh, have a look at the drawing first of all see what we're drawing so we'll put in our center lines we have to do um, this part as an ellipse and this will show us how to do the polygon as well so let's make a start we'll just draw a center line across here hundred and ten across so I just get roughly the size we want and we'll do a couple of center lines up this way as well let's offset that by 110 less 20 so offset that by 90 right and now we've got a circle at one end of 16 diameter so that's uh, 8 radius and we've got a circle at the other end of 70 diameter so that's 35 radius now we've got an elliptical shape now drawing ellipses up here on our draw menu we've got a drop down for ellipses we can draw it based on center on axis endpoint or you can draw an elliptical arc so I think we want uh, center in this case that will be the center this will be one of our axes and the other axis will be at the end of that sorry 110 away 110 so I'll just type in 110 to get the distance just bring that back for the purpose of the video so we can see the distance from our center to the axis endpoint of 110 so of course we trim that back but let's do the polygon first so once again on our draw menu if we click on the pull down alongside rectangle and go to polygon number of sides it's a hexagon so we'll go six sides the center of the polygon will be here it is inscribed because we know the radius and the radius is 20 for some reason it always flips around what we want to do is rotate that on the modify menu we've got the rotate command we've got our object selected already so asking for a base point and you can usually get it by just moving your mouse around and locking into a 90 degree angle so now it's all over bar the trimming and we'll just select everything and trim off what we don't want uh, apart from tidying up the center lines that's that's all all done sorry we'll just uh, do that trimming again it actually has this part of the circle in it 